What is up, people? What is up? I am on my way to the airport, heading to Boston. Got a couple days of uh, the Extract STDC Lyon release strategy meetings coming up. I think I'm gonna start documenting my days. Today, actually, it's been one year since I uh, stopped doing chemo. Uh, a year ago today, I walked out for the last time, which was awesome. Man, a lot of the time going through chemo and going through some of the recovery, I couldn't really get out or do anything and it was really hard for me to read my uh, some somehow like my eyes just had trouble with words uh, as far as like reading them and tracking them and I couldn't really watch TV but I could manage to watch like because it was like too much and the screen was too big or something but I could watch YouTube every now and then sometimes it was just way too bad I couldn't I couldn't do anything but like watch the paint dry on the walls anyway I, I got into um, started following people on YouTube and watching what they were doing and what was cool was you know, people were they're just documenting their life and things that they were doing. It was it was neat to, I mean, this may sound weird, but it was just almost like I was able to live vicariously through these other people. I was able to get out, even though I was kind of a, a prisoner in the hospital or in bed at home um, going through the chemo crap. And then I found this other dude. His name is Gary Vee. He talks a lot about a lot of different things, but uh, one of the things that he occasionally touches on is the power of just documenting uh, day to day, you know, you can look back and reference and see how you've grown and see what you're doing. And there's a Corvette Z06. Mm. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can let y'all see it. There you go. Anyway, whatever. Um, so I'm thinking I might start doing that. I don't know. It feels a little weird. It feels strange. You know, I think it'll be cool for my family and my kids. Now having battled cancer twice, um, you know, who do it every day at this point is a gift. Um, so, you know, I don't want to get all morbid and weird about it, but, you know, who knows how much longer uh, I have. We're really only guaranteed today, you know. Uh, Demolition Ranch guy, uh, Matt Carricker, um, he documents a lot of just their family stuff, and it just kind of becomes this neat thing that I think their, their kids can have and look back on when they grow older. They can look back fondly on their childhood and, and see cool things that they did, and I don't know. It just seemed neat. Joanna and I, my wife Joanna, we were talking about, uh, I, I like to take a lot of pictures and take a lot of video, but we don't really do anything with it. It just ends up filling up um, the Synology NAS at home or the terabyte of Dropbox that we have. It doesn't really go anywhere. So at the same time, I'm also typically, most people would agree that I'm, a, I'm an oversharer. I just believe in being open and helping. I think it helps people when you talk about the, the struggles that you're going through or um, you know, the, the cool things that you've found, um, share it with others, man. Um, we were made to have, have relationships with each other and, uh, what better way to do that than to be open uh, and honest with each other. So, man, I might start doing this. Um, might just start recording and posting out there. Seems like a number of reasons. And even if it just like, even if it's only for me or, or my girls, or, you know, maybe it helps one person out there they they find and, and see cool things um and it helps them in their life whatever if i can be an encouragement then great but i hate just like i hate recording things and then just letting them sit somewhere to rot you know so but i also at the same time i love creating things building and, and sharing and doing and creating um so this might be a, a neat outlet there and it's just been something that's been on my mind for maybe six months or so and I just never really sat down to do it or uh, like turned on the camera I guess it's not get to sit down and do anything uh, I'm just driving to the airport right now I don't know just figure I'd try it out maybe it does nothing it goes nowhere but uh, if one of my four daughters end up appreciating it then then awesome you know or if if my wife looks back on it fondly or if, you know in 30 years I look back and hey Aaron 30 years in the future you know <laughs> might be kind of cool so Anyway, at the same time, like, I would love, what I love is seeing this from other people, especially kind of in the tech community, um, very, very supportive community. Um, if one of y'all starts doing this, man, let me know. I, I'd love to follow you, love to subscribe to you on YouTube and follow you and see what's going on. I'm probably going to try to keep these, like, five to ten minutes. So I only plan on maybe recording, like, ten minutes of each day or, so, or maybe twenty minutes of each day, edit it down into, like, ten minutes. Uh, you know, we'll go from there. So anyway, I got to jump on this team call um, in like two minutes now and I'm almost to the airport. So heading to Boston, bring this along and uh, y'all
y'all can see what's going on in Boston the next couple of days. And I can upload it, send it to my daughters, and they can see all this. And uh, I can entertain my family when I'm not there. Uh, Cause I'm kind of the joker of the family. Try to keep it light. All right, y'all, that's enough for now.